never eat sea urchins. They taste just as bad as they look. It is so hot today. Wow. It's early in the morning, but it must be something like 32, 33 degrees. It is absolutely roasting. We are going out to Manhattan right now. The whole crew, I can see from where I'm standing, right about there where my finger is, right? Can't make it out on this camera. The Empire State Building. How amazing is that? Meat, but it's actually closed. Somewhere in Manhattan, Becca. Yeah. I think that is the Google building, apparently, over there somewhere. Chelsea Market. I think this is king crab. Lobster roll. That's my first time trying a lobster roll. Alright, we just finished lunch here at Chelsea Market. Um, my review of that place is never eat sea urchins. Sea urchins are disgusting. They taste just as bad as they look. Secondly, lobster rolls. Something we don't really get in the UK. It's an American thing. Traditionally, you need to try it when you come out here. Pretty good, not bad at all. Thirdly, the best thing about the whole place was the chips. The chips were delicious. I don't even like chips that much, but those chips were incredible. Cultural experience here in New York. Lobster rolls. Chelsea Market was really nice and all that, don't get me wrong, right? But I'm not sure if I'd come back. It's very touristic, very expensive as well. There's a lot of really similar types of places in London. Spitalfields, you know what I'm talking about. I guess when you're in a place like New York, you have to come and go to these types of places, right? Anyway, I'm just waiting on Tekka and Bianca and all the rest of them coming out. And then we'll go for a walk. Alright, so there's a park here in New York called High Line, which is basically along an old, I think it's along an old railway line or something like that. It's up there, and it's a huge park. Uh, we're gonna go for a walk through it and see what it's like. It's a cool idea that. That's what I'm doing. Train. Old railway. Is that a railway? Very rare that I uh, see an advert on a billboard and I uh, pay attention to it and think that's pretty good. This one is pretty good. Check this out. I think it's my new favourite park in the world. It's absolutely amazing. It used to be a railway. So we've got the tracks. It's so cool. Every corner you turn, there's something different. Inception. So many awesome avenues. When you're walking along this park, you get so many good views. I absolutely love this park, Highline. My new favorite park. Really, really nice walk that. I wanna come back one night and actually walk the whole length of this place. I think it'd be really cool. If I lived here, like, I think I would do that walk to go to work every day, if I could, if it was on the route. Highline, if you're in New York, come and visit. Very, very cool. Oh, 
water flowing over it, like a waterfall. And right ahead there, and that wee gap, right there where my finger is, is the Statue of Liberty. Alright guys, now that I'm back in the apartment and I've had time to kind of reflect on my first few days here in New York, it has been a whirlwind experience already and I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. And I just want to say thank you to all the people who have commented on the various social media outlets um, with various different hashtags for my trip in New York. Uh, it's very flattering. Thank you very much. It's been quite amusing as well. I thought I'd stick to one to keep it nice and simple that we can all use to talk about my trip in New York, suggestions and all that kind of stuff. So let's make it Sean in NYC hashtag. But yeah, the first couple of days in New York have been fascinating. Um, I think the thing about New York is sometimes it really, really reminds me of London. Some of the places that we've been to and some of the types of people that we've met, it's been so similar to, to London. I think especially here in Brooklyn reminds me very much of East London. But it's also very, very different in many respects as well. Culturally different, the people are very different. I think people here in New York are far friendlier than they are in London in general. I'm not just talking about our friends, I'm talking about people you meet in the streets, people who are working in shops and stuff. Uh, everybody's just very, very friendly and nice and yeah, I'm really liking that aspect of it. That park that we went to was amazing. The High Line is such an incredible place. Imagine having a park that's built along a railway line that's like miles long through the city. That's such a great idea, a great way to use an old bit of space. Uh, I think New York is more expensive than I expected. I was not expecting just how bad it would be, you know. I haven't lived in London. I know how expensive things can be, but actually here in New York I think is a lot worse, especially in terms of like eating out and stuff. Uh, what else? It's very hot, much warmer than I thought. Remembering that we are in September and it's still absolutely roasting here. Like, I've had no bad weather at all in the first few days and let's see if it continues. Highly enjoying this experience and looking forward to the rest of the trip. Apologies, these vlogs are slow to upload, but I will get there. Just trying to get the balance of enjoying the, the trip, experiencing it and having time to edit. Because I think the group of people that I'm with here in New York, it's people who like to enjoy the day, but also like to enjoy the night time as well. So if I want to join in with their nighttime exploits, then I'm going to miss out on a lot of editing time. But they will be coming. I've got a number of vlogs coming up over the next few days. So thank you for bearing with me and all comments, suggestions down below. And remember, use the hashtag SeanNYC. Thanks again for watching. I'll speak to you again really soon. Take care.